Matthew Martoma's work as a portfolio manager in 2008 earned him a $9 million bonus, and now a prison sentence of up to 20 years. He worked for the investment company, SAC Capital Advisors, a firm which was once the envy of the finance industry. The trial gives us an insight in how SAC operated. Um, he stayed very close to uh, whatever sources he could find that could give him uh, an edge on information of what was going on. The trial revealed that Martoma called his boss, SAC founder Stephen Cohen, a day after a doctor passed on confidential information about a new Alzheimer's drug that had produced disappointing results. Shortly after that call, SAC began selling off $700 million worth of shares in Elan and Wyeth, the two pharmaceutical companies involved in the drug test. When the test results were made public, share prices plummeted. But SAC made millions. Billionaire trader Stephen Cohen faces civil charges by the Securities and Exchange Commission for failing to supervise Martoma and seven other employees who've been found guilty of insider trading. Steve Cohen remained an unnamed presence throughout the month-long trial here in Manhattan, except when one person testified that it was Cohen, not Martoma, investigators were really after. Cohen has not been criminally charged, but he remains under investigation by the FBI. The public wants to see these guys go to prison, you know, as opposed to get fined or barred from the industry. Right, so do I think the public is appeased? No. Is it a step in that direction? Yeah, probably. We will continue to pursue insider trading investigations. And in November, federal prosecutors announced that SAC had pleaded guilty to insider trading charges and agreed to pay a $1.2 billion fine. The firm can no longer invest money for outside clients. But unlike Martoma, Stephen Cohen remains a free and extremely wealthy man. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.